Hi guys, welcome to Project Feb. This is the Daily Vibe. I'm Sharon, bringing you guys the message from Spirit for May 8th. Okay, so I felt like um, Spirit wanted to change it up a little bit. Today is going to feel a little more spiritual. There's going to be a lot more moments where you guys are losing focus or, or um, coming off center or feeling uh, misaligned. Okay, so the Native American Oracle Cards is the deck that I've been led to use instead of the sacred geometry. So we're going to let a card come out from that text and we'll read what that's all about and see what message Spirit has for us for today. I'm sorry, did I say the 7th? What did I say? May 8th is the day that we're really representing and I'm sorry if I said otherwise. I don't know why I'm being, it's coming up to correct myself, but it's the 8th. We're reading and channeling the energies for May 8th for the collective. So what card? Here it is, 30. And it looks like some type of smoke signal, you guys. Let's see what it says. Smoke, yep. Purification. Smudging ceremonies are ways to release the medicine and certain herbs to obtain specific effects. Sage, sweet grass, and cedar are often used for cleansing, healing, and shifting energies from negative to positive. That's what I'm feeling today. Like we're going to have to really, really come back to center and shift our energies. Like there's going to be a lot of intense energies around us that are going to want to pull us and draw us into the negative focus. And it's going to be, I think it's going to be intense. The energies are going to be pretty intense drawing you into that. So just be aware that today is going to be a day of spiritual presence and you're going to have to maintain your connection to spirit as best you can, you know, let's see how it goes. Tobacco is used as an offering and honoring because the herbs come from the earth and smoke rises up. This ritual is a way to connect earth and heaven, ourselves and spirit. The use of fire to release an herb medicine is also symbolic of the idea of trial by fire, a way of eliminating the useless and releasing the useful. Okay, so I feel like if you guys have sage oil or you have some type of um, protective crystal for today that is specific to your, your needs, um, like bloodstone is a great one, obsidian, a hematite, uh, other protective stones to help kind of... Um, Rose quartz is great for you to channel and maintain your connection to your intuition and spirit. And then, of course, your protective stones, too, or some type of um, way to, to bring the, the sage with you. Sage oil sprays, cleansing sprays. If you guys are going to work today, bring those to work with you. I, I feel like you guys are going to need them throughout the day. So the message from this card is before moving on, make sure your own motives are pure and your actions tempered with beneficial energy. Okay, so what is the focal point, Spirit, as far as how to bring us back to center? Okay, so when we are triggered or we're activated to break from the frequency that we're, we're in or we sense a shift in the energy, ask ourselves, am I pure in my motive? before acting. Okay. I feel like this is going to be an impulsive energy that we're going to want to react. Okay. So before reacting or before acting, ask yourself, am I pure in my motive? Is it in truth? And is it beneficial to the collective, to the greatest good? Am I serving the greatest good by making this choice or saying this thing? If you're not, release it and move on. If you are, speak it and own it. Okay. That's the message for today, you guys. Thanks for tuning in for the daily vibe. Namaste.